Hi guys. Um, this is our WrestleMania 29 predictions video. Um, yes, yeah, the first time I've ever done a something on your face there. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's the first time I've ever done Hi guys. a video. So yeah, um, we'll put the matches room down here and we're going to tell you guys now. What we'll do is we'll say the match the, um, and then we will tell you um, who we think is going to win and maybe even also why we think they're going to win as well. So yeah, um, we'll start from that way, okay? Okay, the first match, now there's, how many matches? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's ten matches at WrestleMania. But they might add some more. Maybe, I don't know yet. I don't know. Well, because there is, uh, there's still one more week till WrestleMania, so you never know. But uh, seriously, I think 10 matches is enough. But they might add some more. Maybe the dark match or whatever. Okay, so. Or well, a pre show match. match. Yeah, pre show, whatever. Same, same thing. Pre show. Okay, so if Dave was tag team match, like, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Alright, the first match. Well, we don't know if it's going to be the first match, but this is on our list. Yeah. First match so is. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, Miz, The Miz versus Wade Barrett. Now, who do you think is going to win, Scott? I'll put you as Wade, Wade Barrett. Why is that? Uh, I feel like they need someone to legitimize the belt, which Wade, well, which Wade Barrett has done it. Because mm. before that, the title, were, no offense, was a complete joke. You saying Cody Rhodes? No, no, it's Cody. Cody brought back the white um, title. It's amazing, like, like Kofi Kingston, yeah. Big Show. Sorry, fans of the big show, Carson. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to choose the Miz. Um, um, I just think they're going to give put it on the Miz because, like, he's having a new movie come out and. The what? What's it? What? Why Bahas movie out too? Get <laughs> damn man down. <laughs> yeah, but I know, but <laughs> but yeah, Bahas not in the movie for very long, yeah, so yeah. Like he says, he's a but big movie star. <laughs> Everyone's calling him in Hollywood. You know, I'm going for the Miz. Like, I don't get me wrong, I'm, re I'm a very big fan of White Barrett as well, but I think the Miz is going to win this match. Um, can next match Jack Swagger with Cliff Holter versus Alberto Del Rio. Um, I'm, I think that Alberto Del Rio is going to win. Um, because I think that maybe Dolph Ziggler might cash in. Because if Jack Swagger wins, uh, Dolph won't cash in on Jack Swagger. I don't think he will. So, because I, re I really want Dolph to cash in, so, um, they can become the World Way Champion, so, I hope that Bernard Del Rio wins. Okay, who do you want to win, Scott? As, as I'm dressed, dressed in class, like a Bertha Del Rio, and I don't want that jackass Swagger, <laughs> or that Skinnerody, who is Zeb, Zeb Coulter, <laughs> to have control. <laughs> What? What are you going to do? <laughs> You're hopeless. <laughs> I don't uh, really crap. I like Jack Swagger. Like, he's a great wrestler and everything. And I'm very happy that um, they've put their cult to a Jack Swagger because he really needed someone to talk to. Mouthpiece. Him. Talk for him. Like, yeah, mouthpiece. Yeah. So I'm really happy about that. But um, yeah, I think they'll, uh, hopefully, I hope Del Rio wins. Um, next match, uh, Ryback versus Henry. Mark Henry. Um, I don't care who wins this match. I couldn't be bothered even like I'll watch it, but I don't care who wins. Your pick? You don't care? <laughs> Honestly. It's got to be everyone. But I, I think Ryback right won't well win. Yeah, I think Ryback right probably win, but seriously, I just don't. I don't really care. Okay, next match: Chris Jericho versus Fandango. Oh, Von. I hope. Oh, I hope Chris Jericho wins. Like seriously, this match is a joke. Like, why the fuck are they gonna have putting? Why in the hell are they putting Chris Jericho with Fandango? That's just disgusting. it's an insult and a disgrace to Chris Jericho. Like, he deserves so much better. Like, he goes from wrestling CM Punk, a great wrestler and a great star, to Fandango, a bloody rookie. Well, he's not a rookie. No. He's a rookie. Yeah, he's a rookie, but it's bloody oh, stupid. It's like he's gone from Mayday WrestleMania against Triple H. To this. Yeah, I know. This is, this is, this is, this is, but, but it's, it's disgusting. It's insult to Chris Jericho. Disgusting. And his career and his legacy. So you both me and Scott, we hope Chris Jericho wins. And Vandango does not, like, on a wrestle, that will be the most biggest black eye I've seen in sport. 
I think that if Fendigo refuses to wrestle Jericho because he Jericho says his name wrong, which is ridiculous. Um, I hope Jericho is added to the Miz and Wade Barrett match because seriously, he should be added to that match than this one. Okay, next. Um, oh yes. We'll do, no, we'll do this. Okay. We'll do the we'll do the lower ones first. Okay, next. That's, that's um, that's all. Yeah, I know. I forgot. Okay, next. Um, co uh, Team Rose Scholars and the Bell Twins versus Bros Clay, Tensai, and um, Cameron and Naomi. Um. I'm going for Cody. I'm going for Cody Rhodes, Damian Sandow, and the Bell Twins. Who are you going for? What she said. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't like the team of Cody and not Cody, sorry. Um, Tensai and uh, Rose Clay. I just. I get Tensai. I don't like them. Like I don't like. Tensai has done nothing all year. Yeah. Don't get it. I don't like the name of their tag team name of Lots of Funk. I said I thought I thought I like to call them Lots of Funk. <laughs> um, hey, um, I think two call Scorpio's coin. He might even want his character back. Yeah. Yeah. I Actually, I would have given them the tag team of um, name of Brosai. I think that sounds better. Or some Tank Tank Clay. Sounds ridiculous. I, know, I like Brosai. Um. So yeah, I have the Bella Twins and Team Rose Scorpio. Okay, next, um, Team Hell No. I think probably Caitlyn might be in the corner versus um, Dolph Ziggler and B. Links, and I'm going for Team Hell No because I want them to retain titles and I want Dolph Ziggler to cash in. And this is why I'm picking Team Hell No. If Dolph Ziggler wins the belt, it will not be fair because he has the briefcase. That's why I'm That's true. choosing and Team Hell No to win. And he needs to cash in soon because he hasn't had very long. Okay, okay. To um, April, May. Fucking hell, Dolph, hurry up, three or four three months. months. Yeah. Three or four months, hurry up. Okay, um, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do this one. Oh, actually, we'll do, yeah, this one next. Yeah. Okay, The Shield versus Randy Orton, Sheamus, and The Big Show. I'm going for The Shield. Most people would actually think going for Randy Orton's team, but I'm not, because I want to, I want Randy to turn heel. What's something on my shirt? Yeah. Uh, like, it's all right. right. I yeah, I want I want Randy to turn heel. So I am hoping the Shield wins. Plus, if the Shield won at WrestleMania, that oh, that'll be bloody awesome. That'll be great for them. So yeah, I'm going for the Shield. And I want Randy to turn heel. He needs it. He says Styles are facing the moment. So yeah. Hey, I don't know who you're going for. Believe in the Shield. <laughs> and this is why, because the Shield is taking over. Every aspect of the way they're taking over and any kind of I'll check, I'll get it later. That's just chicken. And by the way, um, if the way he makes the shield look like a complete joke to um Seamus, Big Show and Orton, I'll be pissed off. Yeah. The shield is the most dominant force right now that we are right now. Dominant the a dominant Okay, uh for the next match. The shield wing, yeah. The shield, believe in the shield! Alright, alright, relax. Seth Rollins, uh, yeah, but remember I have the shield. Relax. Okay, next. Mass. Uh, Triple H versus Brock Lesnar. This is a no holds bar match and it's a retire retirement match. So If Triple H yeah. loses, he has to retire. Yeah. Um, well, you can do yours first, mate. I'll go check the chicken. Um, uh, I'll go oh, that would take third stage. No, I'm going to check the chicken. I'm cooking. Okay, I'm going to choose Brock Lesnar. Um... Because um, I think Brock Lesnar might, um, like... Win, because, um, Triple H, um, he might, like, leave that with a way to, um... I mean, I mean wrestling, in that way. Because he's now doing that COO kind of thing, like... Like, do you think he, he's starting to look like Vince? <laughs> he's starting to look, look like Vince right now, like, with the, uh, his hair like here, you know, like very long hair, cut it. Like um, this match is no holds barred. That means anything goes. The last time Triple H was in a no holds barred match at WrestleMania, he lost against the Undertaker at WrestleMania 27, which was, which was not my favorite WrestleMania. Actually, it was quite bad. I hate some of the matches and matches. And uh, he comes Tracy back and she's going to say, who is Hill she? Hill Tracy? Call me Hill. No, he comes Tracy. Oh, they said Hill Tracy. Okay. Yeah, she this wants to match, win. This match, um, I don't really know who's going to win this match. I, like, I, for some reason, I, like, in some ways I think maybe Triple H might win because he lost against Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam, so he needs this match 
like he needs to spend this much to redeem himself. But yet, Triple H is aging, and he's 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 yeah, not he's not having as as much of a role in the ring yet, like for at least for at least for at least the last year half or two years. So. He in, could be retiring. And now he has that job as um, the CEO yeah, of the company. Yeah, he's had that for a year, yeah. at least. Yep. So, really, Two years I don't like know it's going to be this match. I, I'll, be, I'll be watching this match intently, and I'll, I'll be, hopefully, hopefully this match will be better than the SummerSlam match they had, because the SummerSlam match they had was, was boring. I, expect, I expected way more out of that match, SummerSlam. Yeah. But it's I hope much more. It should, hopefully this should be better because it's done my whole bar. It'll be much more fun to yep. watch. So yeah. Hey, brutal. I love... Okay. I, like I said earlier, Triple H, last time involved in a Nold bar match in Mania, he lost. So this might backfire and Triple H again. We'll so see. Okay. Next, The Rock versus John Cena twice in a lifetime. Good one. What? From King I have no, novelty. Alright. Sam's going to win because The Rock's going to be doing some movies after WrestleMania. Well, I don't I did hear he is advertised for Extreme Rules, so I don't know. But I have a feeling that John Sam's going to win, even though I want The Rock to win. Because I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of The Rock. But I have a feeling John Cena is going to win, unfortunately. Your choice? Even though I beat Sam Punk at the Rumble, Punch was the rock because he's more talented than Cena. I know that's... And, oh, you go, go on. And um, these two guys, they're kind of the same. Like, the the crowd pleases and they, and like, um, like, I think Rock, um, like, wing, wing, wing it, be like, um, be kind of like, yeah, we've seen this match, match, match before. Like, I, um, I think Rock might win, but... You know, don't we? They always want to see it when everything, like, you know, like. Yeah. The next one. Wait, wait, wait. Um, yeah, with The Rock, I can understand why people are frustrated with him because, um, he didn't, like, he's been on Raw for, for very much for this match, to have this match up, and I understand why people are pissed off, but he, I know he has other commitments, like, not just to wrestling, like, people have to understand that. He's not going to be back like for every, every, every rule. He's got, you know, he has to do other things because he's an actor as well, not just a wrestler. And um, with people having a go at him just because like he didn't, like when he was at the GIJ premieres, like in Australia and London, the US, blah, 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 like that he didn't show the WWE title or he didn't talk about the WWE, well, come on, like he wasn't there for that WWE. He was there for his movies. He was there for the GLJ. So, what are you expecting to talk about WWE when he's going to at the movie premieres about his movie? So, you know, but I can understand why people are frustrated with him, but you know, he's going to, he's going to do what he's going to do. Um, I am though pissed off that, um, I know that because he hasn't been, a, he has not been a very good champion because, um, he's been away, but he does have other commitments, so. I can't sympathise with him. Um, so yeah, okay, now this match, the next match, the last match I'm going to talk about, this match better be the main event, I'm not be pierced. <laughs> um, it is Mr. Sam Punk versus The Undertaker. Poss okay, um, possibly 21. No, 21. Okay, I am going to choose, um, I'm going to choose Sam Punk. Um, I, I just don't know what to say. Um, yeah, with Punk. It's very, I know lately he's been very controversial because of Paul Barry's death and what he's been doing and, um, with the urn and playing with Taker's emotions, but, um, yeah, I think this is the first time in a long time that the Undertaker has looked somewhat weak. And vulnerable. And vulnerable, yes. Um around WrestleMania season. So 
they could be building to that maybe this is going to be um the end. Gonna be the end this is going to be 20 and uh, 1 and like I've heard that I've heard rumors I don't know if they're true of course because you can never know you never know what's going to be true like until it happens but I've heard like things that Taker really respects Punk right now and he he really thinks that he needs to pass a torch to someone that he respects and that's CM Punk so um if CM Punk like I want CM Punk to win if he wins I'll be I'll be very happy but It'll also be very sad as well because it'll be an end to it'll be at the end it'll be end to the Undertaker and his streak. Like tight like if this is if this could possibly also maybe even beach take his last match as well. If um if it's gonna be twenty and one. Because come on, he can't have him like if he had a match next year it's twenty and one, it wouldn't have the same impact because the streak is not there anymore. It's just it's gone. So yeah, um if Punk wins and I want to win, I'll be happy, but also I'll be sad as well with them a streak ending. I know some people never want the streak to end, and I can understand that, but I want, like, I want what, like, what Take wants just to pass on the torch to someone. So, yeah. Yeah, go. Three words! And this is, this, is, this is what is going to end the streak. GTS, exactly right. I'm just seeing Punk win because I'm. But like you, like you said, last time Tankle felt vulnerable and weak was in Shawn Michaels. We were starting to talk about like... Not for a long time. Yeah, like he was talking about like ending the streak since he was living in God and that kind of stuff. And like Punk, he, he, ended, um, he ended right back streak. That's true. And also he ended... But with, with some help with the shield and... And um, Brad Maddox. Brad and, Maddox, um, yeah. Ricky. <laughs> oh, the the Eichels. Um, Punk and Taker match. This is a match. Past match before, like around Breaking Point and Hell and Cell Smash in match. In 2000. Yeah, and Hell and Cell match. Like, I think this match could be, could be the the best match yet. But but Taker has to realize this is a like, different Punk than last time we wrestled him. The way the way way different Punk. Yeah, in ring and out ring. It's way different Punk, like he's way more different now, like, yep, so um, he's now one of his leaders in the locker room. Mm, yeah, kind of. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, yeah. I, but it would be kind of sad, but we do have memories of the Take, take a Streak. There's two DVDs about it, so um, they're now available on WWE. There'll probably be another one coming up. Yeah, look, there's a Streak DVD out, there's two actually, there's 15 and 0 and 20 and 0. So um, so it's just to me very um, unpredictable and a very but crazy I match. Hope, I hope that this will be the main event because it totally deserves it. Yeah. If it's Rock and Cena the main event, I'll be, I'll be so I wouldn't be I'm not gonna be happy. Oh, so that yeah, happens. Um, well, these are our predictions. Um, and yeah, I I would love to hear. Um, any of your guys' responses about our predictions, and I'd even like to hear what you think who's going to win, because, yeah, and I'll respond to you, and, yeah. We the people. We the people. And some peach. Some tacos. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know what we just did that for, but anyway. I five sides for like me. Scott Harpers. <laughs> anyway, that's our video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Watch WrestleMania! WrestleMania, yeah! 29! Woo! I think I know no celebrities. <laughs> so far, anyway. Bye!